Hello, today's video is more technical than most because I'm going to be explaining how to interface my yarn counter with other devices. So the yarn counter is designed so that when yarn spins around this disc, it causes uh, this counter to go up and it's, you know, you can change it between yards or meters and it basically counts how much yarn has passed around the disc. But while I was making it, I had the idea that you could set a target length and right now it's set to 100, but you can change that length to whatever you want. And what that'll do is when it reaches that length, it will send a signal through this port and tell a device to turn off. So that port is just a standard 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. So you plug that in and I made the yarn counter first, but after I was done making the yarn counter, I made a cone winder and the cone winder does have a port for this. So you plug that into the cone winder. And now when the yarn counter reaches a hundred yards, the cone winder would turn off. So that's what people want to do. But, you know, maybe they're making a skein winder or a ball winder or some other device that they want to stop at a certain yardage. So they want to know how does this interface between the yarn counter and the cone winder work. And that's exactly what I'm going to explain in this video. So the first thing you want is a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. And you can get these on Amazon or really most stores should carry something like this. It's a very common type of plug. It's uh, probably want mail on both ends, but you know, you need mail for the yarn counter and then you can put whatever else on the other end works for the device that you're making. And then we've got some sheets here that sort of show. So this is the, um, yarn counter and this just sort of shows you how it's um, wire the, the schematic that matters uh, for what we're doing and it actually this part is not too important it explains and lets you sort of understand what's happening but this is in the yarn counter you're not going to have to modify this at all uh, what this does is it basically so the T stands for the tip of the 3.5 millimeter jack, this part. Uh, the R stands for this ring and S stands for this base portion. I don't actually remember what the S stands for, but um, yeah, it would be like it plugs in like this and you can sort of see it, the tip, the ring, and the base portion. And uh, then there's this uh, end channel MOSFET here which actually is just acting as a switch. So that's connected to a pin inside the yarn counter and the yarn counter is going to basically have this switch closed. So most of the time it's closed. And then uh, when we reach that spe specified length, this switch is gonna open, which is gonna drop this from um, whatever voltage your device has set down to ground. This is an open collector system and it's very common. It's used for photography flashes and a ton of other systems out there. But it's, it's nice because the other system that you're interfacing with doesn't have to use a specified voltage. Uh, for this MOSFET that I'm using here, anything from 3.3 to 12 volts will be perfectly safe. So this is what's happening inside the yarn counter. Uh, this is what's happening inside the cone winder. And this is the part that you would want to re-implement on your device. So again, this jack is sort of showing you what's happening here with a 3.5 millimeter uh, uh, cord. Uh, so the tip again is connected to nothing. Uh, the ring, um, what you need to do there is you need to have a pull-up resistor. So inside the cone winder, it's five volts. It could be 3.3 volts. It could also be 12 volts, uh, whatever you want. Then you want to have a resistor to limit the current um, using a 4.7K resistor. Uh, really anything between 1K and 10K should work fine. And then this resistor and this capacitor are just sort of to help filter out noise. Those are kind of optional. And then you need to have 
uh, the base portion of the uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, connector down to ground. So basically, remember, the yarn counter is uh, basically a switch. So what you have is you have a limited amount of current coming in through this cable, and then it goes over to the yarn counter. And then when that switch opens, it's going to go down to ground. And when that MOSFET is not open, it's default state of close, you're going to be reading uh, your voltage here. So like most of the time, this is the pin that's connected to the microcontroller inside of the cone winder. And most of the time that's going to be five volts. It's going to be a high signal. And right when the yarn counter goes uh, to that length, it's going to pulse down to approximately zero volts uh, for, I think it's 100 milliseconds and then it'll go back up. So you have to sit here sort of watching on your device for when this pin drops down to a low signal. And that's when you would stop your device. And it's pretty much as simple as that. And then I have one more hand-drawn version um, of that uh, diagram. So this is kind of showing the same thing. I list the MOSFET that I'm specifically using inside the yarn counter, uh, just so you can go look up the voltages and verify whatever you're uh, using with voltage and current is going to be okay. But basically, as long as you limit the current to a, a fairly low value, anything between 12 volts and 3.3 volts uh, will work perfectly fine. And then this is sort of the simplified version of what you want to uh, wire up. So, right, you want to make sure that um, your device is connecting sort of that base part of the 3.5 millimeter um, jet, uh, connector down to ground, and then the tip is unused, and then this ring portion, uh, you want to have a pull-up resistor to 5 volts, and then uh, going off to a uh, pin on your microcontroller, or if you're using the streak logic, you know, that would be uh, the part and you know you're watching for this to drop from your five volts or whatever voltage your system is using down to zero volts that means that your length has been uh, reached so hopefully that explains how all of the uh, different things need to be connected if you have any questions uh, let me know in the comments i hope people make some cool devices and interface them with the yarn counter. In the future, I'll probably be making some additional devices, but I have a limited amount of time and a lot of things on my roadmap, so it'll be a long time before I get to those. Uh, and I'm always happy to see other people uh, using my tools in unique ways. Thanks for watching.